well look at this model trackmaster this is 2009 mattel duke now it looks okay in the outside the roof needs a little touch up maybe we're gonna paint it maybe not but look inside this you've seen the thumbnail oh, wow that's impossible to fix well we're gonna see that um let's begin we are going to remove this, all the screws and this needs a lot of cleaning the model we don't know about the model but luckily this is screwed others are not with the screw there's some sort of clip and we need to remove the battery terminal make sure you put all your screws in a safe magnetic okay, i'm going to use my dreamer and i will use this bit to remove the battery terminal i don't know i'm still thinking maybe i'm going to put new decals to this model maybe maybe not the kids uh, do not try this at home i want to start very slow so i guess i'm going to give more power Definitely really bad shape. I gotta remove the side roads so I can wash every single part of this model. Look, too much corrosion. Yeah. Now I need to know if this model works or no. So we're just gonna try I'm gonna try to see if it runs. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. And it's very quiet. That's that's good. Excellent. Next bits I'm going to use is uh sandpaper and a brush, metal brush. And yes, I know there is some chemical solutions to clean this, but I'm going to use the sandpaper. So far so good i could leave it like that but i'm gonna give some nickel plating what you can see here is the copper that's the brownish color and it might get corroded really fast so i want to give him uh, some nickel plating so i have my smurfs cup add some nickel solution now we are ready to nickel plate and we'll give it like um, maybe one minute or maybe two minutes in the solution. Can you see the bubbles? Now it's nickel plating the battery terminal. And actually that went really fast. It's been like a 20 seconds. Can you see the difference? Big, big difference. But I'm going to give it more time to make sure it's pretty coated. That is done, and now I'm just going to give a little polish, and we're good to go. Isn't it that cool, guys? Very, very good. Now, in order to clean all this, you need white vinegar to wipe down all this corrosion. Yeah, I'm going to put a lot on here. Good thing is the white vinegar is good, and it's okay for plastics. Big difference, corrosion, it's gone. There's only paint marks this is the original paint when they paint this um, buffer beam yeah i'm just blowing air on this model so i can clean all the dust i guess i'm gonna go ahead and do a full restoration i i don't like this so i'm gonna polish them big difference polish it and polish it polish it and polish it now we just assemble the wheels how about that guys yeah it looks amazing that is cool now we are ready to assemble the chassis don't forget 
this and actually it should look like that now we can add a rivet this part is kind of tricky I mean if you do it on camera but if you do it off camera it's more easier there it is our riveted finished battery terminal like brand new for the next step I'm going to put the wheels and the motor let's not forget the coupler screws on first test it works great 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 then the middle wheels middle wheels are next screws done now side rods yeah and i did a little test and it's uh, working fantastic yeah I always every step of the way i need to do a test just to make sure i'm not missing anything even if you are sure you gotta double check that you're not missing any parts or making any mistakes now let's focus on the top i think i don't know I just maybe i'm gonna leave it just like that so it will be the original you know if you want to polish just grab a rag or something and polish it just like that and it will give you good results these are the original marks so yeah probably i'm gonna leave it like that i wanted to put the new decals but i guess ah, this this thing that people um like the original decals and everything so it will not make any difference if i put the new face decals the price and the model is gonna still the same will make no difference but i could definitely do a touch up with the oil based marker and actually it's not that hard oil based marker any brand it's it's good any brand any brand oil oil i think they pronounce oil oil based marker anyways And we are done with Duke. Duke. Is it Duke? Duke. I always mispronounce. I say Duke, but it's Duke. Link in the description.